Hello everyone. Today we will be learning how to do UI segmented control. What are segmented controls? Segmented controls can you can think of them as tabs. So you can have like one uh, tab number one, tab number two, tab number three, as many as you want. So let's dive in and uh, make some segmented control using uh, one using interface builder and then uh, using code the code. So let me make a view based application and call it segmented save it save the project and what I'm gonna do is dive in go straight to the interface builder and let's go to segmented control this is how a segmented control look like by default it comes with two of them you can increase the number of segments by just going to the properties of a segmented control and increasing the number let's see here yeah, three number of segments three so four you want four of them uh, we can select a style uh, we can select what style you want the plain style is normal I normally prefer the bar one it looks pretty slick may increase the size so I have that there next I need to give values to each of them so first second scale third and fourth so I have four of them now what do I need to do when I click on one of them <laughs> let's say let's display a label and we'll call it one two three and four whenever it's clicked so by default let's say one because I have set the first one to be selected so I can also have not selected and have the text to show nothing so let's keep it that way there. so we have that let me increase the text okay there we go and uh, now next we need to write some code uh, let's go to code side so first we need to tell the header file that we have an IB outlet UI segmented control named as segment and we have a UI label which is again a IB outlet UI label star LBL so we have that and we'll then after that give an action IB action which says that when a segment is clicked what happens so let's say IB action segment clicked name of the function copy it and go to implementation file implement the function bracket bracket and say when you click on any one of the section so let's say switch seg meant dot see what we have selected segment index so it depends on which one is selected one six switch statement uh, switch what it does is it goes through this whatever is the value it calls that particular case so let's say case one what should happen is label dot text equal to uh, we say one okay and make four cases because we have four segments three okay one two three and four. I think the segment control segment start from zero, one, two, three, four. Just an array of segments. So let's make them like that. One, two, three. But the name, the label that we give is one, two, three, four. So that's what this does. So we have that. We have this. Now let's go ahead and make our connections. Go to file owners. Go to connections and connect label to label and connect the segment to the segment and also the action connect it and value changed when the value changes we run it so let's run this application in interface in uh, iPhone simulator so we have first second third fourth let's click first third fourth second so works perfectly this is how we do that in interface builder now let's look at the code side how do you do it using code so if I want to do it programmatically I will say UI segmented control star segmented say control 
and UI label star LBL code. And give another action. This time let's void not coming from interface builder and segment clicked code. Copy this, go to the implementation file as implemented and select the entire thing. Same code works for both of them, just the thing that changes is the label and the segmented control. So segment control dot select index and there we go. Our code is ready. Now only thing is we need to do the do adding of segmented control and the label here so let's say segmented control equal to ui segmented control allocate and initialize with frame cg rect make let's say i want to give 10 i want to y to be 200 width to be 300 and height to be 30. So that's that and segmented control dot actually I think I'm doing it wrong how to say leave this a little bit below in it with items yeah, I have to give it items with items what are the items yes array array let's see what does it ask for yeah, any type array ns array uh, array with let we have to create an array of objects to give the give the segmented control some items so we say first comma second comma third comma fourth comma nil so in the arrays normally end up with nil saying where is the end of the array so fourth and the nil object so that was that that I would give it a frame so what's wrong here some extra brackets troll allocate one ending this so yes this looks fine okay segmented control dot frame equal to say cg rect make this and then I give say self dot view add sub view segmented control now so we will give it a style so control dot dot control style is UI segmented troll style bar like the bar one better so we add that once I'm done with that say so I don't need that over there Our label code equal to UI label allocate in it with frame CG rect make with the coordinates 10 let's give y as 250 width is 300 height is 30 label code dot background color equal to ui color clear color and self dot view add sub view label code so once we have that we can run our application and let's see if it works so first second third fourth this works for the, this one this one nothing happens because we didn't add the target for it let's add the target to the segmented control add target now add target is same for buttons for switches for anything uh, for any of the control elements it's always there so where is it self the rate selector what is the selector called segmented control code ui control event value changed so only when the value is changed it will be called or else it doesn't need to be called when you're clicking on it same thing again and again so only when the value is changing it gets called so there we go that's how you do segmented control using interface builder and then programmatically
thank you for watching uh,